It's fucking do it Friday! Did you do it? 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 Fucking do it! Today we are featuring LaShawn Thomas. If you are unfamiliar with the name, you are probably familiar with his work. Let me pull up his resume. He was a creative producer and supervising director on Black Dynamite, the animated series. He was a storyboard and animation production artist on The Legend of Korra. He was a director and lead character designer for the Boondocks animated series. And he is currently producing an animated feature called Cannon Busters, which is fucking rad. If you're going to Otakon next weekend, you should check it out. He's going to be premiering the, the first episode, which if you backed his Kickstarter, you already got to see, which I did, which was fucking rad. So I've been following LaShawn's work for a while now, and I was first introduced to it way, 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 way back in the day when Dreamwave Productions was still doing comics. And he did a book for them called Arcanum. And I don't remember much about the book, um, but I do remember the artwork and I remember thinking that these look like still frames from an animated series, which totally makes sense because from there he went on to work in the animation industry. I think he was, uh, I think his first big, big gig was a uh, character designer and director on the boondocks, which is pretty cool. And because LaShawn is a fucking badass, he decided that he wanted to learn more about the animation process, like what happens behind the scenes, how these frames and storyboards get put on screen so he packed up his shit and moved to korea like you do nobody fucking does that who the fuck does that he was so awesome he just like i need to know more about this because i feel like it's going to help my, me in my creative process so i'm gonna learn it from the people who actually do it so he went to korea i don't think he knew korean at the time and just got with an animation studio and learned the ropes and tried to figure out what how all this stuff comes together from a production side and after that he was like well this is awesome now it's time to put all of this knowledge to work for me and he decided that he was going to create his own animated series called cannon busters which he ran a kickstarter for raised a whole bunch of money and he's premiering it next weekend at otakon so if you're going to otakon check your schedule look for cannon busters go see that shit because it's amazing like i was a backer on the kickstarter project because of course it's lashawn you gotta back it it's amazing and so i've gotten i've gotten to see it because all the backers got to see a, a sneak peek before he premiered it at otakon and it's great it feels like cowboy bebop but like with a modern sensibility if that makes any sense it's great the the dialogue is fresh the character designs are amazing it's got a a car that turns into a bull robot that's fucking rad so LaShawn, to me, sort of embodies this whole fucking do it ethos that we've, we're, we're doing here. Like, his production company is literally called Make Stuff LLC. It doesn't get more fucking doing than that. Like, whenever I've heard LaShawn talk about his work or give advice to people, it's, it's always been do the thing. Like, if you want to be a comic book artist, be a comic book artist. If you want to be an illustrator, be an illustrator. If you want to do cartoons, make cartoons don't wait for someone to discover you or to open the door for you knock down that fucking door and do it yourself and whenever i think of people who fucking do it lashawn thomas is way up there on my list because he's proven that with sheer willpower you can do the thing like starting from weird little flash animations online to working on cora i mean there's no set career path that says this is what you have to do. He just fucking did it. He said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this happen. And he made it happen. And that to me is what fucking do it is all about. So if you've been sleeping on LaShawn and you haven't heard his name before, check his shit out right the fuck now. Get inspired. Get into it. I'm going to link the documentary that he did about his time in Seoul, Korea here. Um, check out his YouTube page. He's done a TED talk about his time in Korea. Um, he's got previews of all of his upcoming stuff. Uh, the Cannon Buster stuff looks absolutely amazing. Again, if you're going to Otakon, check that shit out. 
There's a trailer of it on his YouTube channel, so I'm, I'm definitely linking up his YouTube channel. Visit his site, check him out on Twitter. I mean, just follow LaShawn. Get with LaShawn. Get inspired. Get your head together. Check his shit out, all right? So LaShawn Thomas, fucking doing it. Fucking inspiring me to fucking do it. Just, just awesome shit. All right, uh, that's it for now. Tune in next week when we'll find another victim to feature. All right, bye. Did you do it? 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 Did you do it?